In this video, we provide the solution to question number seven for practice exam number two for math 1220, in which case we have to set up but not evaluate the integral for the length y equals the natural log of cosine of x from x equals zero to x equals pi thirds. I should also mention we're supposed to step and simplify it. Not, you know, again, we don't have to evaluate, but we have to do some basic simplifications here. So when it comes to finding arc length, the basic form, remember, is we're going to integrate ds, for which ds can have a couple different formulas. As our function, the y-coordinate is given in terms of the x-coordinate, we would do ourselves a huge favor by taking the formula where we take the square root of 1 plus y prime squared dx. Um, so that's the first thing we want to do here. We want to calculate the derivative of y right here, so dy dx. Uh, upon doing so, so notice with this one, we have a chain of functions. We have a natural log and a cosine. The cosine's inside. So the, when you take the derivative of a natural log, you're going to put your inner function on the bottom. And then on the top, you're going to put the derivative of the inner function, which in this case is a negative sine of x, for which notice here, I can write that as negative tangent of x. So that's going to make a very nice substitution right there. So plugging that in, we're going to get the square root of 1 plus negative tangent quantity squared dx. I also want to consider the bounds, but these were explicitly given to me, 0 to pi thirds, like so. Now, I mean, this is the correct integral right here, but again, the instructions do ask us to simplify. Let's do some appropriate simplifications there. Now, one thing I want to note is, of course, that when you square a negative, you would just get back to the positive version, so 1 plus tangent squared. And so by the Pythagorean identity, 1 plus tangent squared is actually the same thing as secant squared. So we end up with the square root of secant, uh, secant squared actually, and that gives us our last simplification. We would integrate from zero to pi thirds of the function secant, for which we can talk about the antiderivative secant if we wanted to, but again, this is just asks us to set up and simplify, do not evaluate it. And so our simplified version um, without actually evaluating the antiderivative would be this integral from zero to pi thirds of secant x dx. Do remember for full credit here, of course, you do need to simplify, you do need to do differential, and of course, the balance should be correct as well.